I'm Scott Gorshine. This is my daughter, Lucy. She's a twin. Her brother did not have a rough start in delivery. She had a rough start. And she came out not breathing, totally blue. She went, we still don't know how long without oxygen. The hardest moments of life were at the beginning, like you were staring into a void. My son, Gabriel Wolf, was born very prematurely. He was born at 26 weeks and just one pound. There were a lot of medical complications. He coded multiple times. He was diagnosed with developmental delay. And then he had an official diagnosis of cerebral palsy. We were told he would never walk. We were given a pretty bleak outlook. In the NICU, we had heard about Stacy and you know everything that she was doing. Physical therapists are central to the role of treating children who have cerebral palsy. And a large part of that is because one of the key characteristics is a motor delay. And physical therapists are the movement specialists. Early identification of cerebral palsy is absolutely crucial. And the main reason for that is because we're starting to identify interventions that are more effective when provided at a very young age. So this is a really big change that's happened that we can start to identify the kids at high risk between three and five months pretty consistently. Young babies learn about the world by touching it. So picking up a toy helps them understand, is this toy heavy or is it not heavy? They understand the concept of heavy because they interact with that toy. Without that opportunity, because they can't use their hands well, they're not able to learn that concept. And that's a cumulative impact then over their early years that they start to not learn those skills. Little by little, we progressed from him being this immobile child to he was able to eventually sit and then stand and, and now walk. My husband and I really believe that it was Stacy's early intervention in her program that really helped get him to where he is now. I am a researcher who cannot turn off being a clinician. I think it's crucial that we work either collaboratively with clinicians or maintain clinical practice to ask important questions. The interventions that we're looking at now and that we're starting to see early evidence for suggest that if we provide task-specific interventions at a high enough dose, we do see changes in those areas of development. Since we know that motor development has a very significant impact on cognition, providing opportunities for kids to move is actually improving their thinking skills. And we started at age one and she couldn't sit up by herself. The early detection of her CP allowed so many doors to open for her care. And thankfully, there are physical therapists who know how to teach her with her specific situation how to achieve things. Her world changed from being on the floor to being like you've seen her today. She already has surpassed what I thought was possible for her. There was this kind of uplifting feel to the process that wasn't just like Lucy getting her therapy, but it was also kind of like helping the family get through it and see hope and look to the future. We went from being very scared, I think very scared and, and not feeling, just not having a lot of hope. Uh -huh. To what we have now and it's... Mama. I think I'm just so grateful to Stacy, to her team for working with us, for being patient with us, for teaching us so much and I think that that made all the difference in the world. Yes, I'm Stacy. Very good.